After mastering the uh, streamline kick, we're going to move on to a single arm streamline kick. And uh, always start out, push off the wall in a streamline. Uh, no matter what drill, no matter what stroke, no matter what you're doing, always practice that that streamline position. And then, as you'll notice here, as we transition from full streamline to just one arm streamline kick, the head should stay in exactly the same place. It shouldn't move at all. I should be looking straight down. This arm in front should stay in the exact same place. Uh, try as best you can to have it stick next to the ear and not let it wander off back and forth. Kids will like to do that. And at first, I would recommend uh, practicing this drill kind of flat on your stomach or have the kids be flat on their stomach. And then as they progress and get better, and here I do it a little bit later, you can start having them kind of roll onto their side and keep one shoulder out of the water just like that. Because really as they, as they grow up and they get better, we want to teach them to swim on their side. But at first when kids are kind of young and weak, uh, weak with their kick, it's really hard for them to do both of those at the same time. So I usually try to do do things first on on the stomach, and then uh, and then as the season progresses, we we start doing it more on our side, and that way it changes the drill a little bit, and they don't feel like they're redoing the same thing for six months straight. The other thing to really practice at this stage is now we can start adding in the breathing and practice breathing. And the big thing is just to stay low, which I don't do a great job here. I'd like to keep one goggle in the water. But number one, you want to stay low. And I, I even tell the kids to press their, their head down into the water because obviously a lot of them want to come up. And that's kind of instinctual. It's built into our hardware that we want to put our head as high above the water surface as possible. And uh, naturally, competitive swimming is the opposite of instinctual. So we have to always fight those urges. Uh, but one of the, the things I've found works is telling kids to really, as they breathe, you want to dig your ear down into the water. And that helps them stay a little bit low. And then, of course, we always want to return to as much of a streamlined position as possible after we breathe.